hours ago, the Arizona Court of Appeals ruled that abortion is legal through 15 weeks, ruling that doctors can't be charged for performing the procedure. Nine on your side's Andrew Christensen joins us in the studio. Andrew, what does this mean for our state? Mm -hmm. Well, Ryan, the Court of Appeals ruling did not throw out a law that was created before Arizona even became a state. That law banned abortions except when the mother's life was in danger. Now, this ruling today allows abortions up until 15 weeks. I spoke with both the anti-abortion side and Planned Parenthood Arizona, who tells us this is not the end of the road. It's been a contentious year for both abortion activists and pro-life supporters. Various people began pushing for uh, killing the babies, and that's just a wrong thing to do. Today is a momentous day for reproductive freedom in Arizona. And President and CEO of Planned Parenthood Arizona, today, Brittany Fonteno, says they paused abortion services after the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade in June. This has been a hard-fought victory six months in the making. Fonteno says they performed abortions again in August. A few weeks later, the Pima Superior Court allowed Attorney General Mark Burnovich to lift the injunction, banning abortions almost entirely except to save the life of the mother. She says PPAZ appealed and was granted an emergency stay, and they began providing abortion services again. They are providing abortions in Tucson and Glendale. The Arizona Court of Appeals has given us the clarity that Planned Parenthood Arizona and the people of Arizona have been seeking for months. Bob Pawson with We're Tucson Pro-Life Action says he's against abortion in Arizona. In the last 50 years or so, um, many Americans and Arizonans have been indoctrinated to think that it's okay to murder babies in the womb. Pro-life is the default position. He says if Arizona is going to have exceptions to save the life of the mother, it has to be strictly defined. He says if the mother's life is truly in danger, then doctors should do everything to save both of them until it's obvious they're both going to die. Then save the life of the mother if it's impossible to save the life of the baby. Everybody's life is sacred and precious and should be. But Fonteno says the fight for abortion access is not over. But make no mistake. We know that the work to achieve true reproductive freedom for all people is not over. Pawson says their work is also not done. Uh, we give ultrasounds. Uh, we have uh, pregnancy testing, other medical services. Uh, we're willing to help with things like housing. Both Fonteno and Pawson say they're anticipating an appeal to the court's ruling. Now, as for doctors, the Arizona Court of Appeals says doctors cannot be prosecuted for performing abortions in the first 15 weeks of pregnancy. They say that's because of Arizona's other laws over the years allowing abortions. People who are not doctors can still be charged under the old law. Reporting in studio, Andrew Christensen, KGA 9 on your side.